Hi team, welcome to your five minute yoga for today. So let's get started. You'll just need your mat or you can do this one on the floor. Nice and simple, it's a standing one today as we're gonna work on that upper body, particularly looking at the neck and the shoulders. So I want you to get a nice solid base with the feet. Maybe the feet are a little wider than hip width, depends where you're most comfortable because I want you to feel grounded. So as we extend, think long spine, Glutes are on, tail is tucked under. Let's think we're supporting that body. If you're up against the wall, how flat could you make that spine? Beautiful work. Now we're gonna take right arm over to the left ear, extending through the neck and gently, as if you're doing your reverse warrior, pull the head up and over the spine to think the right ear to right shoulder, but nice and long. I always like to grab, there's a little notch just below where the skull meets the neck. That has a little divity point that allows me to actually get my fingertips in there and helps me extend the neck to stretch because we never just want to like crunch that ear down to that shoulder. We want to extend and stretch, think lengthening the side neck. Switching to the other side. Have you thought, forgotten about your core and booty? Keep them turned on, beautiful work. switching side, but this time we're gonna start activating it a little bit more. So gently lifting the neck up and over towards the right shoulder, bringing ear to right shoulder, and then we're stretching through the left fingertips to really activate that. I like to do kind of little twinkle twinkles with my fingers. I've heard this referred to as nerve flossing as well, which is quite interesting. Switching to the other side. Activating that neck. And remember, we're reaching up and over with the spine, extending the spine, following its natural curve, not crunching it down. We don't want those discs biting at each other. We never want that. Twinkle, twinkles with the right fingers. Back to center, beautiful work. Now, we're gonna be opening the shoulders, similar to when we do our shoulder rounds. However, I feel like it's a bit more of a seal movement. So in front of the body, bringing the backs of the palms together so that they're, they're touching. And this makes their shoulders round forward. Now with the breath, we are then inhaling, rolling shoulders up and over as we open the palms to the front. So thinking, here it's like a rainbow arch with the shoulders opening the body. Couple rounds here with, the own, with your own breath. Open that, really shining the chest towards the front of the room. And I'll show you this one side on so you can see how this works with the shoulder blades. Here, rounding through the shoulders at the front, opening the chest, really rounding through the chest, shining heart towards ceiling, maybe elevating the gaze towards the roof. Exhale, palm, back of palms facing each other again. As we then open the shoulders, open the chest and round that chest towards the ceiling. Beautiful work. I want you to extend the feet a little wider now. And we're just gently going to be a gentle bend in the knees, not a full goddess, not a malasana, just a gentle bend. So a nice little soft knees here. Trace right arm down the right thigh as we extend the arm up and over, gentle side stretch, but support it here. Back to center, switching sides. Now having my knees a little bit bent actually allows me to just tuck my tail under just a little bit more. Really depends what's gonna feel better for you. Maybe you like the legs fully straight, totally fine, but I always think a little bit of a bend just helps stabilize me just that bit more. We stretch to the right. One more time to the other side. Beautiful work, back to center. Now, this one, gentle twist to the body. So bringing arms in front like I Dream of Genie style. So touching hands to opposite elbow as we tuck core under, gently twisting the body, extending through the spine out to the right. How far can you look over that right shoulder without, don't take shoulder blades, don't take the shoulders to the ears, drop them nice and low, extending through the neck, the spine, twisting to the right. And switching sides, twisting to the left. 
Think really strong through the core here. We want to be using the core muscles to twist rather than just yanking with the arms. Back to the right side, twisting to the right. And back to the left, beautiful work. Now to finish our practice today, and I'm gonna leave you in this pose because I want you to stay as long as it feels comfortable. Uttanasana, our beautiful forward fold. So generous bend through the knees, draping long, think belly to thighs, and just draping the head nice and heavy here. Generous, generous bend through the knees to release that lower back, neck, and just release all the work you've just done, shaking the head out. And here's where I will leave you. I want you to stay as long as it feels comfortable. Have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow. Thank you.